What do we do when plans do not go off as we expect? That's right, we're reacting. And what do we do when we need to react to something with 15 minutes of time? Mojo? Even worse, we're smash posting! <laughs> oh yes, and not only any smash posting, it's MatPat! <laughs> okay, so this video has been around for a while. <laughs> it's true. Nightmare stream. So, so hold on. The reason I wanted to watch this video is because there's this long-standing idea that people are the character that they play in Smash, and I think that's dumb bullshit. But Matt Pat says it's true, and I think that's he's a dumb bullshit. So we're gonna watch this and and hopefully, hey, maybe I'll come away with a better uh, understanding. Honey, how could you? I thought what we had was special. I would love to pop a watch mojo, but we already did. We've already got a watch mojo cooking. So instead, we're gonna do a smash video. Okay, game theory. You are your character. I can't believe I'm watching a Matt Pat video in 2022. Hi. Day 23. I continue to live amongst the Pac Man undetected. To okay, them, okay I, I gotta skip this. Yellow cur Get to the video. Get to the video. Skip it. Skip it. Theory. Skip the parts where Matt Pat talks. The ring, baby. Come on, man. Bro, this guy is Film chilling. I'm two minutes in. Start the video, Matt. Remember, and over half a million of you responded. Five hundred and fifty. Wait, 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 wait. So he put out a survey. Five hundred thousand <laughs> people's information no, to sell. This is my if I was Matt Pat, I would definitely abuse my audience in that way. No, I would give them surveys so all the time. So the question I needed. Sell my data off to Nielsen. I'd be rich. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It was my hypothesis that this game could be used as a personality assessment of sorts. I hate the this shit. The character you choose to play as could serve as a reflection of what makes you, you. This is my least favorite thing. This is the reason I wanted to watch this video. I am so sick of gamer horoscopes. This has always been a thing, particularly in Smash, because everybody plays Mario when they're eight, and they're like, oh, I'm Mario now. And he gets imprinted on you for the, your entire fucking life. I hate this. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe MatPad has the data. Are Eastern Europeans attracted to the gothic stylings of the Castlevania clan? Are fans of travel Maybe? more likely to pick characters that are popular overseas? With I think so I think a different, different kind of person game, likes Marth and Fire Emblem. Like oh, God damn it! they have two INTJs. I got so excited. I'm INFP, but they don't have INFP. I don't, I don't think a K rule is thinking. <laughs> if I ever fought an INTJ K rule player, I'm scared to death. He is thinking and judging all of his actions. So what does your favorite Super Smash Brothers Ultimate character say about you? That is what I'm about to Literally fucking today. nothing. So Literally nothing. No matter what he says, it says nothing. Swords, I'm trying to help to you. Don't put your entire personality into the character you play. No matter what this video says, please. Damn! What a split! A few things do seem to remain true. The first being that Very interesting, but I'm actually really Falco. Like the princess. real Falco That's here? Right. When asked who you anticipate Thank you for your service. Smash Brothers Ultimate, females were three times more likely than boys to choose strong female mainstays like Zelda or Peach. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, women love pit. I've seen a lot of women pit players. It's very strange. Women love pit. <laughs> like, I can understand Peach and Zelda and, like, Kirby, right? And I've seen some Pikachus. But Pit? Rosalina, who was over six times more popular with girls than she was with boys. Yeah. Yeah. Because Rosalina is, is, she's appealing to women, right? Because she's, she's a, a female princess. And also, you kind of have to play like a bitch, which is not appealing to anybody, unless you're a certain type of player. If you're a guy, you want to play like a bitch and run away and hide behind the Luma. But if you're a woman, you're like, oh, she's a pretty princess. You know what I mean? The buzz? That's the one. That's the one. That's the one Rosalina player. Name one more. What is shocking is that the female bias didn't apply to characters like Samus, Sheik, and Wee Fit. <laughs> <laughs> The jokes write them. They don't know Samus is a girl. Like I feel like a lot of them. If you're picking, if you're picking Peach, Zelda, and Rosalina because they're princesses, you probably wouldn't know Samus is a woman based on the appearance. 
Same with Sheik. It's a robot. <laughs> we fit trainer there's no excuse for. I don't know. Maybe it's more appealing to be a princess than uh, a, a fitness instructor. I don't know. <laughs> Samus, in her regular suit, was in the bottom tier for girls. Samus, Aww. in her zero suit, on the other hand, was one of the top. Ah, see? Mmm. And it's not because she's one of the uh -huh. best characters. They didn't the know. Game. They didn't That's know. <laughs> what I initially thought. Wouldn't Samus attract campers equals females, according to you? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that being a camper is a feminine trait. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know where you got that idea. That's not true. That's not what I said. No, no, that's not what I said. It kind of is though. No, it's not. You unintentionally implied that. Okay, take what I said before and replace if you were playing like, what do you want me to say? A wimp? If you're playing like a wimp, that doesn't have the punch to it. Women be camping. No, they don't. Come on. Samus they don't camp. Not so much. She they're not good enough to know to camp yet. They're still at the casual level. Guys, a boy. We fit trainer, creep I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Please don't unsubscribe. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean that. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. And just like that, Connie, your two female viewers, including me, have toned out permanently. <laughs> you are also banned from Watch Mojo and Miss Mojo. No, no. Okay, but there are other mojos. There's Gamer Mojo. I can't believe I got banned from those two specifically. My wife is going to be devastated. She loves Miss Mojo. But according to the data, what guys are really after are monsters. Ah. Ridley is two and a half times more popular for guys than he is for girls. Because he's ugly. Yeah, we love ugly King characters. Wait, is it not just because they... No, it's because they were new. They were new characters and people were excited for them. That's all it was. Going to absolutely choose to be scary reptile monsters. Quick play so gremlins, yeah. See some things falling into classic Big ass, lines, ugly, heavy characters. Really so when you're looking at a lot of data points, standard deviation is the measure of how spread out the uh, numbers in that data set are. For instance, if you're shit. looking at this height chart of Mario characters... Oh my god, I never deviation. realized how short oh, it's a Shy Guy is. I've never noticed that. He's so cute. Did you guys know that? Look how tight he's not even as big as the pipe. Damn, Wiggler is big. Wiggler is as big as Donkey Kong? Dude, dude, can you fathom how scary that would be? Consider if a Wiggler, if, if a caterpillar the size of Donkey Kong showed up at your door or was in your front yard. That's terrifying. We didn't just look at gender the whole time. Tell me Your more. country's local culture also seems to play a huge role in... Dude, Mexico loves Terry, don't they? Mexico loves King of Fighters. Oh, wait, this is before Terry came out. Damn it. For instance, see if you can figure this one out. Mexico, Spain, Portugal, Brazil, Chile, Puerto Rico, Italy, and France. They all love... Isabel. European civilization and culture was heavily reliant on small little, like, villages and tutors. Like, when they were first coming about. And I thought that the idea a villager Isabel or something like that would appeal to them because it's like small life living. It's like small town living. You know what I mean? Say the wrong thing, Cody. I'm, I'm, I'm dancing very delicately. I don't have anything offensive to say, but I don't know what the fuck is going to piss you guys off. So I'm trying to be very careful. Isabel. All had a much higher than average number of players eager to assume the role of Simon and Richter Belmont. What? Huh? Why these two? Well, I guess they're just European, right? They're they're more like Eastern European, though. Dude. They are campy as shit. As a country? My hypothesis I have no is idea. that it's because these countries in particular tend to all be very religious. And not just with any religion, but Catholicism specifically. Italy is home to the Catholic Church. Oh, France shit! Is often the, sec the country's history steeped in this series of religious struggles between Catholics and Muslims. And that religiosity carries through in the culture of most other Bro, Spanish I cannot and Portuguese believe. countries. I can't believe that this is in a real MatPat video. This still is from a real, like, take this title and this thing and just tweet it out. What happened? <laughs> MatPat really went off the w rails here. That's crazy. Giving Christianity the master sword. 
That's funny. Countries like Mexico, Portugal, and Puerto Rico. So it would okay. make sense that characters from a game franchise all about crosses and holy water and battles against demons and spirits would uh -huh. resonate more strongly in those territories. Okay, the I guess. Character is surprisingly popular it's not a bad in theory. France, Isabel. Fuck you! Fuck you! I told you! They have tiny little villages that they tend to! I fucking told you! They got tiny little villages and it's appealing to be a nice little dog administrator that's very cute and everybody loves and she does her job and she's so diligent and she's not appreciated. I love the puppy! I love little Isabel. <laughs> oh, she is so cute. Foofy. <laughs> is it just because these countries are more enthusiastic about catching fish to work their way out of crippling debt to a no. thrifty raccoon? I don't think so. Isabel and Isabella are classic French and Spanish names, the equivalent of our Elizabeth in English. Names that belonged to multiple queens in both countries, including yeah, Isabella but that's not... in Spain, who sponsored the explorations of Christopher Columbus, and one of the whoa, most glorious women Matt, in English Matt, history, Matt. Isabella of France. Matt. I think she's just a cute dog. It's just a cute dog, Matt. It's not even her name in France or Spain. And pause right there. Uh -huh. You see, after I finished writing this episode, I found out that this part of the theory is probably <laughs> wrong. Yep, they got different Isabel's names. Name Stupid. Different She's foofy. And France. In Spanish, it's Canela. And Canella. in France, it's Marie. Oh. Where is she foofy? Foofy. Italy? Okay. Marie. <laughs> Marie's a cute dog. She keeps all of her appointments. <laughs> she works so hard. And she never has a wine brick. <laughs> so, yeah, the whole name theory. Uh, wrong in dog, this case. She is Wouldn't so be the first cute. time one of my theories are wrong. Consider Pac-Man. It seems random, but he's actually three times more likely to be in Japan. Chosen in the countries of India and Romania. Oh. Well, he's on their flag. His colors are represented. It's related to these countries' internet usage. You see, both of these are countries where internet connectivity is on the rise, but slowly. Because of this, most people play games <laughs> on their mobile phones. And that means a focus on classic titles like the fighter formerly known as... Oh, Man. no, they got no games over there. Oh, no. They don't have any games. Oh, God, you put Snake... Not like Solid Snake, but like TI-83 Texas Instruments Calculator Snake in Smash? Yo, that would go crazy. 22% of the total population playing those sorts of titles. I feel like they just don't have the other games as much. It's because they don't have online to play the other stuff. This would be my favorite game if I if it was the only game I played. Three to five times more likely to be selected in those countries relative to any other in the world. Greninja? Do I have any viewers from India or Singapore in the chat or on YouTube? Please help. <laughs> I hate Greninja. He's gross to me. You realize the water, it's, it's his spit, right? Because he has his tongue out all the time. So when he does, like, the water from his hands, that can't be water. It's spit. You would stink for a week after fighting him. It's like skunk juice. Are vloggers picking Greninja because he looks like he's dabbing on them haters half the time? <laughs> well, exactly. Beauty Matt, gurus Matt. who took the survey showed an even Cute more card. pronounced version of the female preferences that we talked about earlier. Oh, you picked the pretty characters. characters that were women, pretty, or cute by a factor sure. of two to one, with Daisy and Bayonetta as their top tier choices. What's going on there? But Jigglypuff and Pichu also having a strong oh, showing. Oh, Pichu's and if a Pichu baby. Pichu is being chosen. You know it's got to be because he's cute. Because it is definitely not for strategic purposes. Damn, this must have been before the game came out. That's before the game came out. Everybody's like, "Oh, joke." Yeah, that's a clueless. <laughs> When did this come out? The game came out in December 2018. Okay, this was before the game dropped. Pichu will suck, Clueless. And then you fought one, and he hit you with the fucking Ford tilt. You're like, oh my god. Stayed away from the quote-unquote ugly characters, as they were so the sad. only group of all the groups questioned to really not want to play as King K. Rule or Ridley. Why does everybody hate K. Rule and Ridley? Less likely to pick either Come on. Of those characters. It's actually surprising. For as popular as King K. Rule is, Donkey and Diddy just aren't. For some reason, looking at the data, even huh. dating all the way back to the original Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64 and Super Smash Brothers huh. Melee, DK has always been rounding out the bottom of character lists since the beginning. That's so weird. I thought everybody loves DK. I think DK is like, 
I think if you're a straight casual, you don't like DK. I think people love DK when you understand that he sucks. Does that make sense? Because he gets funnier the more you realize he's not good. But if you're straight casual, you're just like, this sucks. I'm not having fun. Everybody's just hitting me over and over. Everyone's dad plays DK. Is that true? My dad's never played Smash. Have you guys ever played Smash with your parents? My mom plays Pikachu. That's awesome. That's so cool. My mom played Peach. Mm? Oh, Matt Pat was right. Not about your mom. I mean about girls gravitating to Peach. Matt Pat didn't say anything about your mom in particular. Your mom has an affinity to choose Peach. <laughs> Baby gamer. My dad likes Fox. That's a little weird. I don't know. I wouldn't like my dad picking Fox. No, my dad would pick Snake. My dad's a, a he, he's a military LARPer. He's like a Green Beret who collects guns and shit. He would definitely pick Snake. He loves Command and Conquer. Travel content tends to attract older creators and viewers. As such, they would be much more likely to gravitate to some classic arcade favorites no. like Donkey Kong. No, In no, no, this no, no, case, no. being also skewed more towards Duck Hunt Dog, Pit, and Rob. Okay. Mm hmm. I thought it was just because they were animals. So like travel animals, probably like you know, if you're if you're traveling a lot, you might be more interested in animals. But I don't know about Pit. Oh wait, is he? Oh, he's saying it's because they're old characters. Matt Pat, you're so full of shit. Never Older mind. audience. <laughs> he and asked five people. Yeah. Self, there's one last thing I want to point out about the data. The yeah. characters that brought us all together in a game filled with so many options and a ton of popular new faces. Two stood out as the all-around winners. He's going to say Captain Falcon. Characters that topped okay. literally every list. Okay. All right. Kirby, you think? It's not Pikachu. I see Kirby. No, because Kirby wouldn't top the experienced player. Can you guess who they are? Link and Kirby. Okay. Across Some of you guys guessed that. Some of you guessed old that. Generations I thought that was Super too Smash obvious. Games across all genders, across all content genres and levels of experience. With oh, this makes sense. Because... Men love these two characters. Casuals love these two characters. Experienced players like Link. And men and women love both of them. Experienced players don't like Kirby. Kirby is so boring to competitive players. They fuck it because he's not fun to play. You can't jump with him. He's so slow. If you like Kirby, you only like Kirby. But people love Link. Always Good the for number them. one and number two picks. Number Always. one? And they did just squeak by. It tended to be by Who's a playing Kirby? margin. Trust the data. Who the fuck is playing Kirby? But hey. I'm not watching the rest of this. You know what he's going to say. Interesting video. Tell me what your character says about you down in the comments. Go down there and tell me right now. And don't say that you're your character. You're not. You just like doing the things your character does because it's fun in the game. Don't lie to me. Don't believe in the horoscopes. It's not true. It's hype. But uh, like the video. Um, it'll it helps out a lot and it'll make you feel better. Also subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye YouTube. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Okay. You're not Sora. Stop saying that. <laughs>